Well, joining me now from Oxford is the royal writer and photographer Ian Lloyd, who's writing a book about the childhood of the Queen. Mr Lloyd, good afternoon to you. Um, good afternoon. How significant is this, do you think? Well, it's a startling image, but, I mean, it's taken out of context. If you see the whole video, there's, um, it's two little girls playing around with an, a favourite uncle and their mother. And it's what people did in those days, is to, is to joke at the, the Nazi um, regime. If you uh, read about Prince Philip, in 1933, he was a, a little boy at uh, a school in Germany, at Salem and apparently angered his teachers because whenever he saw footage of uh, goose-stepping Germans or the Heil Hitler salute, he would laugh, and they didn't like that. And actually, when he was at Cheam, a prep school in England the, the year before, uh, when the little boys wanted to go to the toilet, they put their hands up and did the Nazi salute. So it was, um, it was quite common to ridicule um, that there was posturing dictators and, and so on in those days. Interesting that it's taken so long for these images to come into the public domain. Yes, I mean, I've seen home movies countless times. There was an exhibition at Buckingham Palace last year which featured many home movies, of course, nothing like this. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, um, you can understand why they wouldn't want to show it, but it's, um, it's, it is a totally innocent thing. The Queen had a very innocent um, childhood. I was talking to one of her cousins who said their favourite game was called um, Happy Days, and, and Happy Days was catching leaves off the trees in the autumn as they fell into Windsor Great Park. And um, when war was declared on the 3rd of September, she was in church, the, the present queen at Crathy, and um, there was a blood and thunder minister going on about the war, and, and they were giggling because they thought wars were knights in shining armour on horseback. And Princess Margaret, who was nine, said, who is this Hitler spoiling everything? I mean, they didn't really understand Germany or Nazism. They just um, were following, mimicking their uh, parents as, as, as children did. Yeah, I don't suppose anyone is suggesting that the, that the present Queen had any idea, really, of the significance of what she was doing. But it would be fair to say that the royal family in the round at the time, that there was some members who appeared to have some sympathy for the Nazi movement. Well, particularly um, Edward the... Eighth. I mean, he was Prince of Wales there, and of course he was the future king. You have to remember at the time, Elizabeth and Margaret were the equivalent of Beatrice and Eugenie now. They were, they were seen to be f further down the pecking line and wouldn't have been uh, a monarch and a, a sister. But um, he definitely had right-wing sympathies. Uh, the following spring, he addressed the British Legion and advocated closer relations, closer ties with Germany. Uh, and a lot of people, I was reading the diaries of Henry Channon, who was a diarist at that time, and he said the establishment were worried, you know, about his right-wing sympathies. And they only escalated after he met Wallace Simpson, who herself um, was influenced by uh, Ribbentrop, the ambassador, German ambassador in London, who was friends with a friend of hers called Emerald Cunard. And um, the, the, the Windsors, as they became, were definitely very interested in, in, in uh, Germany and Adolf Hitler. Hitler said that Wallace Simpson would have made a great queen, but he also said the Queen Mother, or Queen Elizabeth as she was then, was the most dangerous woman in Europe because of her... Um, her great skills, public relations skills. Yeah, but one of the things I suspect that the lots of people will take from these pictures is actually the image of, as you said, the Queen Elizabeth, the lady, the, the Queen Mother doing this salute, because she became so synonymous with the Blitz and, and those visits to war in London. But she also understood the British nature, and there's a letter from her to her uh, a distant relation called Prince Paul of Yugoslavia, written in October 39, just after war started, in which she said she regarded it as, as a relief that the British were ridiculing Hitler. She thought it was great that such a serious topic was being treated in a light way, and she told him they were calling Hitler old nasty. That's the people she'd met. And um, she thought that uh, humour was a, a weapon in that way. But, of course, she was anti-German because in the First World War her brother Fergus had been killed at the Battle of Luz in 1915 and in the Second World War her nephew was killed and her brother-in-law the Duke of Kent and she was very anti-German and anti-Nazi. But, um, as you said, the, uh, the future Duke of Windsor was a um, completely different kettle of fish. But what they do show me, though, actually, is the great relationship he had with his nieces and what a wrench it must have been for them after he abdicated because on a personal level uh, he was the Queen's favourite uncle and he was um, very close to her and they had this sort of rift in the family for 30 years till the 1960s when they met up again.
Ian, thank you very much. It's Ian Lloyd uh, there joining us from Oxford.